Hey guys, Vic here playing, I don't know how I pronounce this one, uh, Call of Cthulhu, 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 I don't even know how you pronounce it, I'm not even going to try to pronounce it anymore. <laughs> if somebody knows how it's pronounced, uh, please let me know, I, that's just weird, I can't even pronounce that. So anyways... I'm going to start this game over. I played a little bit of it. Yes. Override it. I didn't get too far in it. I don't know if I should say that this is kind of like Layers of Fear. Um, I think it's a first person survival game. I'm not really... I didn't play enough of it to know for sure, but... I guess you play this uh, investigative guy. He's got, you know, hard times going on. But you start off in this port warehouse place. Where he's, you'll see what I mean. It's actually pretty disgusting. So, this isn't as creepy as Layers of Fear, if you guys want to get yourselves creeped out, get that game. This is more like a disgusting game, just pretty much. I mean, look at this. Wakes up in a poor area full of dead sharks and fish everywhere. I can only imagine the smell. Oh. The smell's gotta be horrible. I'm gonna tell you right now I hate fish. And if I want if I ever wound up in a place like this, I'd be, you know, puking my guts out pretty badly. Yeah, I know how to move. I played this already. Uh let's see. And this is just a, uh, as you can see, a bunch of dead fish that are cut hung on uh, I don't know hooks or whatever or they cut this one in half and then this one they pretty much uh, clean that out till there's just bone oh this is pretty disgusting okay so this door and there's another door will lead you in that same area so now I'm gonna bother coming back there after I get what I gotta get. Yeah, I know I need light. Now I don't know, part of me wants to go down here and see what happens because in my last playthrough I went here and Oh, I saw something over there. Okay, nothing. My controller shook for a second. I think that was a fish or a shark or something that was in there. This is some creepy crap, man. Look at this. Let's break this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Breaking the lock. I don't know why they locked that up for, but I'm ready to. Excuse me. Putrid is right, man. This is disgusting. Ugh. Oh. Then they killed a whale, too. Look at this. Oh, look at his tongue. Ew. Look at this. Oh, that's gross. Let's get out of here. So, yeah, this is, uh... Don't fight. You have been chosen. What, to cut up fish? I don't think so. You can forget me on that. Just get the heck out of this place. Behold. Everything has already been written. But perhaps you will attempt to change your destiny. Ah! 
Dude, man, you really have to booze. I hate whiskey. It's been too long since I've slept in a bed. There you go. I wonder why I still take these things. Good question. Oh, turn this off. Oh my gosh. Ugh. I don't care been for a while that. since I jotted down something other than my nightmares. Ah, oh, so this is like his notebook. Okay. Hmm. Something happened to him. Have a little drink, man. Should I? I don't know if I should or shouldn't. It might affect. It might affect how he's able to do stuff in this game. I don't know. Ah. Eh. It. Everybody drinks nowadays. Mm, tastes good. I'll have some more of that stuff. Whatever that is. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, oh, it tastes good. Mm. It's just awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Let me try some mess I'll answer the phone in a minute. It's gotta get my morning dose of whatever this shit is. <laughs> oh wow, he's yeah, he's drunk. At least he can walk right. A good old story of blackmail in a speakeasy. Huh. I actually know a friend who might actually like this kind of stuff. It looks like it's an investigating game. Married woman runs off with her girlfriend. Husband couldn't understand it. Hmm. The Wentworth Agency doesn't attract top notch cases. I used to be an avid reader. The Lost Battalion. Holding your position and obeying orders. That is encouraging. I agree, man. Natural sciences, linguistics, archaeology. Uh oh, once I turn it off, I can't turn it back on. That's good. All right, what's going on? Are you Edward Pierce, private investigator contracted by the Wentworth Detective Agency? That's correct. Hello, Mr. Pierce. I'm Lucy Sherrifield, in charge of investigators over at Wentworth. I'm calling because of a problem with your file. A fire has destroyed some of our documents. Her voice is sounds annoying. Right. I'm so very sorry, but I have to collect your personal information yet again. Ugh. You know, that that voice is so annoying. I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, so I guess these are his character points. So we got strength, represents your ability to call on your physical power. Improving this skill increases your chances of forcing doors or mechanisms or of using violence, physical or verbal, during interactive discussions. Well, increase that. Medicine represents your medical knowledge. Improving this skill increases your chances of determining a, the dosage of a drug, of making a diagnosis, uh, or of expressing your understanding of a medical problem. All right, that's great. Occultism represents your knowledge of the occult sciences. Improving this skill increases your chances of determining the use and origin of occult artifacts and of expressing your knowledge of the myth. Okay. Psychology represents your knowledge of human behavior. Improving this skill increases your chances of understanding the motivations of a person based on his or her behavior or on the analysis of objects. Yes, I'm, I'm putting these on here. Uh, spot hidden represents your ability to find hidden objects. Improving this skill increases your chances of finding hidden objects. An undiscovered object will not appear in game. Hmm. 
All right. This one is eloquence represents your ability to influence those you talk to by your power of speech. Improving your skill increases your chances of convincing or manipulating during discussions. Okay, that's good. Okay. And last but not least, investigation represents your investigating talents. Improving this skill increases your chances of understanding past events by ana analyzing a crime scene or an object and of picking locks. I'm going to put the last two on that one. I guess once it reaches five, it's maximum. I guess. I don't know. Although, why is medicine and occultism in yellow and the rest are in purple? Huh, that's strange. What's wrong? As you know, we wish to closely monitor the progress of our contractors. And it would seem you've been accepting fewer <sighs> new cases. Dude, come on, just hang up on her. Work is scarce. She is so annoying. Peers, you know as well as I do, there's never been more investigative work than now. Dude, just but hang up on her. cases worth it. Hang up on her, man. She's annoying us. She's annoying as fuck, man. Oh, finally, thank you, dude. Thank you. Hanging up on her. Oh my gosh, she's still I'm coming. <laughs> Sir, I came here on the advice of a person whom I hold in high esteem, and I must say that I expected anything but a drunkard's lair. Come on, man. He's had it rough, man. You're free to leave any time, sir. Do you know to whom you speak? Stephen Webster, industrialist and art collector. <laughs> All of Boston knows you. Tell me, Mr. Pierce, are you capable of handling a new case, or are you simply a deadbeat inebriate? If you come to me, it means you're desperate. Nobody believes me. They take me for an old fool. Sarah, my little girl, she is dead. Even you must know of her. She was Sarah Hawkins. The painter? Yes. Everyone knows her work. The police accuse her of killing her family. They all died in a fire. Sarah, her husband, and Simon, my grandson. I can't do anything for a woman who is already dead. Find out the truth. They say she was mad, but I know that's a lie. She would never have done such a thing. But if you have no proof... I've brought all that I have. Look. What, that painting? I want you to look carefully at this painting. Well, it's very Tell disturbing. Tell the assumptions that come to mind. What am I supposed to find? Tell me... Tell me if this is the work of madness. Or if, on the contrary, you manage to detect some logic, a rationality to follow so that I may understand it. Is that all you want from me? Yes, please. All right. I'll look at your picture. That's all you've got? The painting? I placed a file on your desk. It contains everything I have on the affair. Man, aren't you going to touch my desk, man? A warehouse on Darkwater. Some sketches of the Hawkins family. Rather thin. Hmm. Then I can read that later. What's this symbol on the man's chest? It's as if Sarah Hawkins breathed a message into it. So, Mr. Pierce. What do you make of these elements? Hmm. Interesting. Unlocked answer. Investigating professional. So I'm guessing, depending on the answers, the meaning could 
exactly exactly as it appears. Help with this. I think your daughter is progression. I guess. That's what I believe too. It was three months ago that I received the call from the police telling me of my daughter's death, and yet a short while after, this painting was delivered to my home. The painting is linked to this case. Can't you see? You must find the meaning behind all this. Hmm. Okay. Let's try this. You must tell me if what the police suggest about the mental state of your daughter is true. No. Sarah had visions. Everyone knew that. She never would have heard a fly. She only thought she saw things. Saw things? What do you mean by that? I never knew what she meant by that. My daughter was an enigmatic figure, Mr. Pierce. You must find out the truth about her life and death. Hmm. All right, let's see. Darkwater. Never heard of the place. Where is that? It's a small remote island off the coast of Boston. Sarah lived there with her son and her husband. I suppose you want to ship me off there. Darkwater holds the secret regarding my daughter, Mr. Pierce. You must uncover it. The sender's label mentions Warehouse 36. That's right. It came with Sarah's last painting. And you think your daughter could have been the sender? That is what you must find out. Go to Darkwater. Find Warehouse 36. Alright, well, I gotta find Warehouse 36. Alright, let's... Remember, I... No, I didn't do that one yet. Okay, let's do this Her one. husband was a big deal on the island. But the police are sticking to the accident theory. Though they mentioned Sarah's mental state was fragile. I believe you are right, sir. This case is not as simple as it appears. I am aware of that. I believe there is more to this case than just an accident. All right. Let's go find what's going on. What happened to your daughter? I think I'm beginning to understand. I'm willing to do anything for my daughter to recover her honor. Quiet down. I'm on your side. Let's sum things up. An artist dies with her family in a house fire. Your only clue is a sort of promontory painting sent from dark water right before her death. Correct. And the rumors about her supposed folly. Which you don't totally deny. Find that warehouse. Find out the truth regarding Sarah Hawkins' death. You'll be handsomely compensated. All right. I'll take the case. I'll go to Darkwater and look into the death of your daughter. Thank Thank you, you, old man. I didn't expect any less coming from a man in your situation. I am not uh, to have to charge about 50 grand for this. But it's not like I have a choice. You want me some booze for this if I have to go to this dark water disturbing port? I think I've got a book on the North Atlantic. Here dark water is off the coast of Boston. But I've never heard of it. According to this book, it was often mentioned during whale hunting times at the end of the 19th century. But it seems to have been shunned since then. Yeah. Hmm. All I have to do is go to the port. I just hope that I can find a boat able to take me to dark water. Yeah, no kidding. Alright, before I leave, I need to put these... Oh, wait, what's this? This wasn't here before. This dude left this book here? Learning of medicine. I can't even open the book, really. Huh. So it's like a pretty much like an investigating kind of game where you just investigate stuff. Maybe survival horror. I don't know. Alright, let's go. I mean, it's not as creepy as Layers of Fear, I mean, if you want to get creeped out, that's the game for you.
This, I think, might be like a softer version of it. Not as creepy. More disgusting. At least from the beginning, anyways. <laughs> Probably go a little further and then end the video. Whenever the load screen gets done. Want to go to Dark Water Port? Mm -hmm. Loading screen's a little slow. Guess he managed to get a bow. Oh, wow, he's a smoker, too. <laughs> I don't know how you pronounce that. I hope they say something in this game of this so I know exactly how it's pronounced. Well, that's not good if there's ships that are stranded here. Guys coming to unload. Welcome to Darkwater Island, Mr. Pierce. Why, thank you, Captain Fitzwilliam. So, what wind brought you? Does the Hawkins case mean anything to you? Ah, a sad story. All prefer to forget. Charles Hawkins may have been a landlubber, but he was a good man. And his wife, Sarah Hawkins. A uh, nice young woman, and a great painter. What a tragedy. You know what? Go have a drink of the stranded whale. What you need is a good pick-me-up. Mitchell may not be very welcoming, but his bar holds a surprise for you. As for me, you'll find me at the harbor master's office. I guess if it's that's... the Hawkins family that brings you here. I have a pile of documents that should interest you. Understood. I'm going for a look around the docks. <laughs> right. Well, it's not as creepy or disgusting looking as it was earlier. Well, well, I take that back. <laughs> Hey, Sullivan, can't you go any faster? Can I have a look at this? The blood is just beginning to coagulate. It mm. died a short time ago. Obviously. Only a specialist would know what killed it. 
Mm. Don't put that beast back in the water, you shysters. You're crazy. They're cops. They can the same goes for you, sir. Move along. Excuse me. I'm an investigator report. Uh, not a reporter, but I'm an investigator. All right. I'm looking for this address. Warehouse 36, Darkwater Harbor. Ah. And so who are you? I didn't introduce myself. Edward Pierce, private detective. In any case, it's not very important. I can't answer that. You can't? Really? Or you don't want to? Oh, no, no. I'm not getting into those games, me. Now, please, allow me to do my job. You That's can't no understand. You're not no sailors. Way. Oh, yeah? It's a sign. He's you can see that I'm busy, can't you? You can't understand. You can't That's understand. No Don't put that beast no back in the water, oh, you yeah. shysters. You're crazy. Gonna get us They're trouble. cops. They can't understand. You can't That's understand. no way to You're treat an sailors. omen. Oh, yeah? It's a sign. You can see that I'm busy, can't you? You can't understand. You can't That's understand. No Don't put that beast no back in the water, you shysters. You're crazy. I just want to see what happens if I talk to him more than once. All right. Hmm. Hmm. Talk to these guys. Try. Can we sort this out? You can see he's half drunk. There's nothing to sort out. There's nothing for you here either. Wanted to speak to us up. But you can stay to watch if you want. You can pick up the pieces. A true sailor's got in his belly. You hear that? You bilge rats don't scare There's me. Nothing for you here Why either. Call us just Wait, now. I said you were a bilge it's rat. And even a, a These people are very edgy. They don't like to talk to you much. <laughs> uh, let's have a look at this. Hey man, got anything to say, man? Oh, you're just smoking your head off. Okay. All right. Let's see. I think I saw that guy. In the beginning. I think he dies. Why is he looking down at the ground? Hey, be careful. She hot. Let's get him another drink. He's dry. In my bar, we don't serve troublemakers. Excuse me? Could, but this one says hold to test strength, hold to test eloquence. That guy was looking for trouble, so choose your camp if you don't want the same treatment. Hey, buddy, I don't want any trouble, so serve me a drink. Just to make things clear, only regulars can run up a tab, others pay. Really. I didn't expect to find alcohol on this island. What's the source of this miracle? You mean who? Our source of supply wouldn't like me to betray them to the first comer. I'll tell nobody. She'd know it anyway. Anything else? Okay, so she obviously... Oh, I think I know who he's talking about. The Stranded Whale. I guess this bar has been here a long time. What can I tell you? I'm a nostalgic sort of guy. The name, it reminds us of the golden age of dock water. 
when our whalers left for long months and came back sweating and stinking of the oil and flesh of the whales they'd been hunting. It was a tough time, all the same. Ah, but steeped in glory. We've never known such wealth since then. <laughs> what can you tell me about her? We all knew she was famous on the mainland for her paintings. Never understood why. Then, I don't want to speak ill of the dead. Her vision, was it so terrible? The way I see it, the truth is really a question of point of view. What do you mean by that? Do you still trust the truth after a bottle of whiskey? That's a good question. Her style made her famous. How would you describe it? Tortured? Yeah. Well, it wasn't normal. I mean, for a young woman with a child and all that. We saw them in the papers and we said to ourselves, who can paint such things? Is that how she sees the world? So they made you feel uncomfortable? You need to see them for yourself. Make up your own mind. I've got what I need. Anything else? Uh... Do you know where this place is? Warehouse 36, Darkwater Harbor. The Hawkins Warehouse. I see, yeah. If I were you, I wouldn't hang around there. Why not? First off, there are rumors. Sailors from around here say you can hear noises coming from the warehouse at night. Hmm. Screams, that sort of thing. Interesting. Screams. And that's not all. There's the fate of its owners and all the superstitions that go with it. But I'll say no more. Anything else? All right, since you told me all I needed to hear, I mean, yeah, just give me... Captain Fitzroy told me about a little pick-me-up. You want a drink? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't say no to a glass. Try this. Hmm. Thanks. What in the world? It looks gross. I think we'll get along well. <laughs> Captain Fitzroy told me about a little pick me up. You want a drink? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, come here, come here, come here. Same again, please. Here you go. <laughs> I don't know if I should do this. This is probably not a good idea. Whew. That's no moonshine. You can say that again. House recipe. I'm gonna do this, guys. I, I don't Captain know. Captain Fitzroy told me a good idea. Pick me up. You want a drink? One more. But it'll be the last. <laughs> they all say that. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's a good idea. <sighs> There's Ryan. That. Looks like Monsieur is a connoisseur. Not bad for a guy from the city. Here Captain we go. Fitzroy told me about a little pick me up. You want a drink? Yeah, yeah. No, no, they won't let me. Damn it. Fine. Alright, well, thank That'll you. Be all for now. Darn, I was hoping they would let me do it again and again. Until you, like, passed out. Oh, they're drunk. Do you like our song? <laughs> We're true sirens. 
We may not be pros, but we give it all we've got. That's true. It's a reminder of the time when we were still fishing for whales off Darkwater Island. I've never heard this song before. Only people from here know it. It tells the story of the miraculous catch. It's a local legend? Watch what you say, young man. That catch saved our island. Ah. Where's the proof? We're the proof. Without it, the whole of Darkwater would have died of hunger in 1847. It's true. Everything happened, just as it says in the newspaper report. What report? The one that's framed right behind you. Our grandparents tasted its flesh. And it was delicious. What brought whaling to an end? The whales, of course. They all disappeared. You exhausted the stocks. You could say that, yes. There were fewer and fewer of them. Until the last, the biggest. The one of the miraculous catch. Exactly. I bid you farewell, gentlemen. Good night, stranger. So long. I don't trust those guys. I don't see one behind me. Where, where are they? This? Huh. I see the one frame behind me. This? The miraculous catch. Apparently, the most significant event of the last 80 years. Doctor, what did he say? He laughed. My God. Hmm. Nightmares. Can hear things and voices whispering. Will follow its reader and appear at various locations, gifted with its own consciousness, until it finds a new reader. Okay, he's just studying stuff. Well, guys, I'm gonna let this video off here. This actually seems like a very interesting game. I do a lot of investigating and such, and talking to these people. Wait a minute. Hmm. Well, let me talk to this chick. She's hot. Hey, what man. you looking at, stranger? You. This is a good pickup line. The clientele is predominantly male. Tell me something I don't know. I meant nothing by it. I'm just wondering what a woman like you is doing in this flea trap. And I'm wondering what could be going through the head of the chump who goes to disturb her. Let me drink, stranger. I told you to beat it. Well, that was a bad pickup line. <laughs> I told you to beat it. Fine. Yes, I'm uh I shouldn't have even pick that. I should have just picked the first one. But anyways. I'm gonna let this video off here. Oh, there's a guy right there. <laughs> uh if you like what you see and you'd like to see more of my videos, please feel free to subscribe. I usually upload videos frequently, unless real life gets in the way, which does happen. Uh with that being said, Thank you all for watching. Stay safe and have a good one.